Let's start with second version. It says using Bohr's postulate, derive the expression for the total energy of the electron in the nth orbit of hydrogen atom. So as we know that electron revolves around the nucleus and let's say that it is in the nth orbit. So what will the radius be? Rn, Rn2, Rn. Now here we have the formula that is related to it is related to centripetal force. Centripetal force क्या होती है हमारी mv square n with it and rn. n क्यों लगा रहे हैं यहाँ पे हम क्योंकि इन्होंने बोल दिया generalize कर दिया कि आपने n th orbit के लिए find out करना है और it will be equal to the forces we have और forces को कैसे define करते हैं one by four pi epsilon not e square e square क्यों लिखा दो electron के बीच में e into e then we know कि we have to divide divided by distance ka square which is rn square so now what i can do is i can cancel whatever values i can uh, i can cancel rn with rn so what i am left with is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught e square over rn is equal to mvn square so this is my first equation now from bohr's postulate jaise ki inhone bola ki aapne bohr's postulate se hi derive करना है expression को तो Bohr's postulate क्या होता है हमारा mvn rn is equal to nh over 2 pi this is my second equation first equation हमारी वो हो गए forces वाली and second हमारी क्या हो गए this is from Bohr's postulate you can write it as well next we have to find total energy total energy electron की कितनी हो गए it will have kinetic energy it will have potential energy तो टोटल एनर्जी कैसे लिखोगे आप k plus u k की वैल्यू कितनी होती है हमारी k क्या है हमारा बेसिकली काइनेटिक एनर्जी व्हिच इज हाफ mvn स्क्वायर एंड u कितना है हमारा दिस इज माय u आई विल टेक इट एज नेगेटिव 1/4 पाई एप्सिलॉन नॉट e स्क्वायर ओवर rn दिस इज माय थर्ड इक्वेशन लेट्स से अब फर्स्ट इक्वेशन और सेकंड इक्वेशन को हम यूज करेंगे टू फाइंड द Sorry, we'll use the first equation and third equation and then find the value of En in this case. Because we can write this as well. We potential energy as mvn square. Bhi likh sakte na? Half mvn square minus mvn square. So half minus 1 is how much? Minus half. Minus half mvn square is En in this case. Now what do you have to do? You have to solve first equation and the second equation first equation ko solve kar dhe second equation ko solve kar dhe then we'll find the value of Vn from it so first equation and second equation ko solve kar ke we'll get Vn is equal to mvn square rn over mvn rn so this is what I am getting mvn square rn ki value aap ki nikal aegi mv square rn की value आपके निकल आएगी nh over 2 pi it is nh over 2 pi and this can be replaced with the help of first equation e square over 4 pi epsilon naught now you can cancel the value pi के साथ pi cancel हो जाएगा 2 के साथ 4 cancel हो जाएगा so you will get e square 2 epsilon naught nh so yes, total energy आपको पता है क्या है? En हमार अभी हमने निकाला था half mvn square. Now what you can do is you can put the value of vn at it e square over two epsilon naught nh square over it. Then yes, you will get the final answer. Me four over two minus ahead of it four epsilon naught nh. So you will get minus me4 divided by 8 epsilon naught nh yes this is the total energy we have using the Bohr's postulate this is your answer for it now moving to the third one 